hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel indian programmer and i'm um, continuing from where i left you in the previous lecture as i was telling you about the gui based applications and i told you that for if you want to make a make a gui based application then you need to uh, use um, the, these top level containers first of all because if you if you have uh, gone through any of the these software then there are windows in these particular softwares so if if you want to uh, place a particular uh, component uh, like a button or the text field or the scroll bar or the radio button all these things uh, are on the text area field and all these things are placed uh, on, a, on a particular window so for getting that particular window we, we use the JFrame uh, so what happens is that the JFrame is a class so actually this class is within the JVX dot uh, swing package so what happens we, we need to first of all uh, extend uh, we need to first of all instantiate uh, this uh, JFrame uh, so when we are going to instantiate this JFrame we are going to uh, get a particular window and uh, on this particular window I mean so this this is a container on which we are going to place other other components uh, so for uh, for now um, I, I actually uh, not going to discuss uh, this particular uh, uh, piece of uh, software elementary software which I had shown you in the previous uh, lecture but um, but I will uh, discuss some more elementary things uh, prior to that suppose if I, I go to the design view of this particular app then what happens is that uh, you can see that there is there is an option of the palette over here so you can see that this is the uh, palette and what happens is uh, I'm sorry and that this palette uh, is having the swing con containers so what are, uh, what are the different containers which it is having are the panel the tabbed pin the split pin the scroll pin toolbar the desktop pin the internal frame and the layered pin other than these there are swing uh, controllers also uh, so we can have uh, the, these swing controllers and uh, what else we can have uh, like this uh, swing controls we have the label the button and the, the components which which are going to be placed on on these uh, on these container uh, components so uh, like uh, the label uh, uh, like this one over here is a label in which I have written uh, K M P H O U R that that I have written for kilometer per hour so this is a label this uh, button over here convert is a button and similarly we have the check boxes the toggle button and the radio button the button group and so on and list is combo box text field text area and scroll bar the slider and all these spinners and so all these will be discussed and we can have the swing menus and the swing windows the filters uh, if, if you want then I'm just going to show you all these uh, for an eye view birds eye view of these uh, so this is the swing window and uh, this is the swing filter the AWT and that was uh, that I was telling you earlier that uh, and the abstract window toolkit which was used earlier it is also having the same components which are there in the swing uh, but these are uh, not used nowadays only swing is uh, preferred so uh, label actually earlier it was label now it is a J label if, if I am going to instantiate this one then then it would be simply an object of the label class and uh, and if I'm going to instantiate the label which is present over here above then this will instantiate the object of the J label so all these are the uh, minute differences and uh, there are the beans also available in the palette so you can make your own bean also and you can use it so actually um, the bean I've told you in the bean lecture and uh, the persistence also so you can have the entity manager the query and the query result so all these things uh, and it, I, I, I decided to tell you prior to that particular program which I had shown in the previous uh, lecture and uh, uh, suppose if, if you want to to have a deep knowledge of these components then you can and uh, go to them through them uh, through the website of uh, of uh, the oracle and uh, you can have the visual guide also for the layout managers and the swing panel uh, j panel you can uh, have the idea of what a panel is uh, in this particular uh, 
uh, uh, tutorial points lecture also um, there are I means many so resources from which you can go through so if you want to go through these uh, swing components then uh, then over here it is the let's see uh, how the J button looks like uh, so it looks like this one and the combo box you have seen the combo box in different applications and uh, uh, sorry combo box is this one this is the checkbox the J list and uh, J menu uh, J radio button radio button if you are going to select a single option out of the uh, multiple available options and uh, J slider if you are if you're using certain uh, option like a volume or like that or brightness then you need to have the slider and uh, J spinner so you, you you click over here or over here then the values uh, spin and uh, J text field and uh, J password field like we have the fields in the HTML uh, similar to that we have over here also so all these are the uh, components editor paint the color chooser if you want to choose a particular color then you you need to use particular this particular component if you if you want to use the editor pane uh, or the text pane then you can use in this way and uh, you can also use the file chooser to uh, locate a particular file and choose that particular file so uh, what I was trying to explain by this particular um, tiny uh, lecture was that uh, the concept of uh, the object oriented programming as followed by the Java programming language and how it is going to make the programming easy and how is it going to make uh, the GUI based applications uh, a child's play and in comparison to the earlier languages uh, in which it, all the code was to be written by the programmer himself like the j progress bar you have the progress bar at how much percentage of the work has been done um the um, separator and uh, the j tool tip uh, all these components j frame j dialog box j applet uh, j panel uh, the panel i was talking of earlier uh, and the j scroll pane j split pane j tabbed pane uh, J internal frame, J layer pin, all these components. So you've got uh, the idea of these particular components, and uh, why we need to know about the layout manager is that um, if you if you want the correct positioning of your components, if you want uh, that the components are placed in a, a good manner, then then you need to use these uh, layout managers. If I define layout, then the layout uh, actually the layout manager. Sorry, the layout ma layout managers are those uh, which are organizing the components in the container logically. So if you want to um, to organize uh, the components um, of of the software uh, logically, then you need to use the layout managers. So there are different uh, options for that. Uh, means you have the several types of layout managers. As, as I go down. You can see that there are the border layout, the box layout, the cart layout, the flow layout, the grid layout, uh, grid back layout, sorry, and grid layout, and uh, group layout, the spring layout. And so if you want to uh, know what these are, then you can go through this uh, particular page of the Oracle website. Um, but uh, for a bus, I view I'm scrolling this down, uh, like and this is the border layout. Uh, you have the components in this particular manner then the box layout so card layout and the flow layout the grid back layout the grid layout the group layout and the spring layout so all these are the layouts which you can use uh, so it depends upon you that uh, whatever you feel that is better for you then you can use uh, that particular uh, type of the layout actually and the layout managers are, are also a predefined uh, classes in which uh, in, in the Java uh, so which are organized uh, which are used for organizing the uh, components uh, in the in the container uh, logically in certain order if you want uh, have a have an order logical order of these components in this particular fashion then you can use this spring uh, layout and uh, layout manager sorry and so on other than this as i was telling you earlier about the uh, frame so uh, you were using the uh, frame 
uh, JFrame for uh, your purpose uh, of uh, initializing uh, a window. Uh, so, uh, and and if you if you want to use the different components, then you you need to initialize initialize those those components uh, and the objects of those components. Uh, in the in the next uh, lecture, I'm going to tell you about the more about uh, the GUI by telling you more about the event and uh, and also I'm going to uh, show you uh, simple facts that you are going to uh, consider while making your first application which will make you feel happy and uh, to program uh, and and you will have a uh, knowledge uh, in depth of the of the um, graphical user based uh, applications uh, till then bye and thank you very much for watching take care